This is how to do a redox problem with concentration cells. Determine the cell potential and equilibrium concentrations of the following concentration cell. Now, what you might notice is that both my anode and my cathode involve nickel 2 plus nickel combinations. That's what a concentration cell is. It works to make electricity because the concentrations of nickel 2 plus initially are different in my anode and my cathode compartment. All right, well, very well. Our first job is to use the Nernst equation. So, E cell is equal to E standard state cell minus 0.0592 over N log of Q. Okay. Um, e cell at standard state is pretty easy. That's zero. Okay. They're both the same redox pair. Minus 0 0.0592. Uh, nickel to nickel 2 plus is 2 moles of electrons. Log of Q. Now, here's the part, I guess, where it might be a little bit tricky because you're saying to yourself, um, gosh, which one is the 0.012 and which one is the 1.5? Okay, well, let me just put it to you this way, okay? The anode is oxidation. So, in my anode compartment, I am going from nickel, solid, to nickel, 2 plus and the concentration is 0.012 molar. That's in my anode. In my cathode compartment, remember cathode is reduction. So this one I am going from nickel 2 plus and that is at 1.5 molar to nickel solid and that's in my cathode. So now hopefully you're looking at this going, oh, okay, I know which is which now. I would put the 0.012 on top and I would put the 1.5 on the bottom. So one moment please while I crunch in my calculator. And I get that this is not a terribly great voltage. It is 0 0.062 volts. Quite sad actually. All right. The next question asks us, what are the equilibrium concentrations of these things? Okay, well, for fun, let's just get ourselves a reaction table, okay? Nickel 2 plus, and that's aqueous, plus nickel, is going to another nickel 2 plus, aqueous, plus nickel solid. All right, this is initially 1.5 molar. We don't worry about that. This is 0.012 molar, and we don't worry about that. Okay, initially the reaction is going to go um, to the right, so minus x here, plus x here. And at equilibrium, we have 1.5 minus x and 0.012 plus x. Okay, uh, the piece you probably don't realize is at equilibrium for a concentration cell, um, the free energy is equal to zero, but also the standard state free energy is equal to zero for this concentration cell. So that means that K is equal to one. Okay, so at equilibrium, uh, nickel 2 plus on the, I guess you could say reactant side, has to equal nickel 2 plus on the product side. So I can just take 1.5 minus x and set it equal to 0.012 plus x. Mm, let's see. I do believe I would get 2x on this side and I would get 1.5 minus 0.012 on the other side. So that would be 1.488. And if I divide that by 2, equal to 0 0.744 molar. 
equaling x. Now remember I've only just solved for x. If I actually want my equilibrium concentrations, I have to take 1.5 minus 0.744, which is equal to 0.756 molar, or the other thing I could do is take 0.012 plus 0.744 and um, guess what I would get. Alright, so I think to two sig figs I would probably put that in as 0.76 molar. Alright, that's how you do that one.